Standard & Poor's gives the Philippines a credit rating upgrade. An economist, however, says the country should not be complacent about the rating. Kimberly Gaw tells us more. The Philippines recently got a credit rating upgrade from Standard & Poor's. The ratings placed the Philippines from BB to BB+, a one notch below investment grade. Economist Solita Monsod says this won't instantly translate into new investments. Monsod explains that a country's credit rating is not the sole basis of the inflow of foreign investments in a country. While credit ratings will be taken into consideration by foreign investors, it is but mainly for decisions to borrowing and lending transactions. We're talking about the environment that is conducive to investment that is, that is both, that will both cost growth and development at the same time. That's what we want. That's what we want. Monsad says the Philippines has to get it in attracting investments to the country. Statistics show the Philippines is lagging behind other countries in terms of foreign direct investment inflows and of how long it stays in the country. 2011 shows FDI in the country to be at $1.2 billion out of the total $116 billion in Southeast Asia. Monsod says this is less than a percent of the total amount of FDIs in the region, considering the country is the second largest country in Southeast Asia in terms of population. Statistics also show that the value of greenfield or new foreign direct investment projects in the country in 2011 to be at $257 million, compared to Vietnam, $1.6 billion, and Thailand, $4 billion. Monsod says the country has potential and that the FDI in the country is not contributing much. She recommends looking at the Investment Policy Framework for Sustainable Development, which was launched by the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development. I think the next thing we want to, to, to make sure of is that this Investment Policy Framework, if we cannot do it ourselves, there is apparently the UNCTAD, the UNCTAD's uh, Division of uh, Entrepreneurship and invest, Investment and in Entrepreneurship has done 30 policy reviews for 30 countries. And if we think that perhaps we may need some expertise, it certainly is time that we go to UNCTAD and say, could you please review our policy framework? Kimberly Go, Solar News.